Yeah, your good self over there. <laughs> oh, very nice. A younger, more beardy incarnation. <laughs> Actually, don't look at it too much for now. Right. I've got a reason. If you take a seat, Father. Yes. Yeah. One of the uh, one of the reasons why I like painting these things is because I'm interested, in, I suppose, in how much we pick up from people's faces and how much we read, in particular from the eyes. Yes. Because there's so much that we read from a person and pick up at an entirely unconscious level, just purely from the eyes. And what I'd like you to do is to look at mine, and I will look at yours, and I'm going to try and transmit something to you, which will be a word. I'm going to ask you to sort of relax a bit and put your hands by your side. Thank you. So it's a word that I'm thinking of, which I'm going to try and send to you. Uh, it is four letters long. All right? It's not a rude word. It is four letters long. And uh, very important that at the moment we just verify that I haven't, until this point right now, given you any indication what we're going to be doing today at all. No. So I haven't asked you to consider any words, nor asked you to or put any words in your head, no. or any, anything like that at all. No. Right. Okay. It's important these things happen right now as we're talking. Good. So if I asked you what the word is that I'm thinking of, it would be impossible for you to know right now unless you just guessed, all right? Yeah. But rather than you thinking it is impossible, what I'd like you to do, Simon, is to sort of just imagine, just sort of almost sort of play the role that, it, that you did know, as if it was something easy, as if you had the ability to read my mind, so it becomes an easy thing for you, mm. uh, like a game, like a game that we're playing. Mm. So if I told you, for example, that I'm sending you the first letter now, and I'm concentrating on the first letter of this four-letter word, and instead of thinking that sounds impossible, you just go for whatever letter feels right, as if you just know the first letter, so the first letter is, what is that? Oh. Ah, oh, very good, exactly. So that's just an easy thing, just comes to your mind without you having to worry about it. So now just start to turn that in your mind into a, into a word. You've got the first letter, and there could be various four-letter words beginning with R. What's the second letter of that four-letter word? A. No, it's not. Okay, just take a second. Do keep your eyes open, but just, just reconsider that. So we're after the second letter of the word. It's not an A. I think it was just perhaps a little quick off the mark. What's the second letter? O. O. Very good. Excellent. So you've got R and O. Now there are various options, various follow-up words beginning with R and O, but what is sticking in your mind at the moment? It has nothing to do with the environment we're in, by the way. Not that I can think of anything that might be influenced by the environment. Not that you'd be aware of at a conscious level. What's you the word? You want to say the word? Yes. Road. Road. R-O-A-D. Yes. As in a street. A road. Exactly. Yes. Not yes. R-O-D-E. R-O-A-D. No, R-O-A-D. R-O-A-D. Now, that word, as far as you're concerned, just popped into your mind as I was talking to you? Yes. Nothing you'd considered before? No. Okay. And are you aware of anything since we've met that might have influenced you? Just come and have another look at the painting with me, but nothing you're aware of that could have influenced you to choose that word? No. Felt entirely fair and free? Yes. Okay. I didn't give you much of a chance to look at this earlier on, uh, and I had my reasons for it. If you just come in a little bit closer, I don't know if you can see anything at all strange about it. Can you see just in the eye there? No, I can't without my glasses. Put your glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> can you read it? I can. R-O-A-D, it says. R-O-A-D, it is painted in the picture. <laughs> That's extraordinary. 